All right, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a pop-up modal inside of React. Now, typically in what people do with modals is when people used to use jQuery or, van and, or vanilla JS, you toggle CSS class names on the modal so you can tell it to turn on and turn off. Now, while a lot of people say React is just vanilla JS, the truth is, it is more different when you have to incorporate state and props and those kind of things. So I know when I first thought, I was like, well, how do you actually change the class and how do you actually get this modal? The other thing is, a lot of times these tutorials show you how to create these things on page, but typically you'll be creating these things inside of components. So the modal is going to be in its own component that you can reuse and pass props. So how do you actually pass props and function to open up this modal when it's in its own component? So let's jump in and let's show you how this works. Let me show you the quick demo of what we have here. I just have some basic text, I click the button. It opens up a modal, you close, open, close. Now this modal is its own component. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up what I have here. And I have a basic boilerplate. So all I'm doing is just changing this component, a basic default component I had called hello. I'm just changing it to modal and cleaning it up here. Okay. So now we have an empty page and we just have a basic boilerplate uh, with just a component that's empty. And let's go ahead and start this first. So the first thing we want to do is on page is just have some basic text and a button to open up the modal. So I'm going to bring in some default lorem ipsum text here and we just have some basic text and then I'm going to go ahead and create a button. So I'm just creating a basic button here and, but we do have some flex things. I'm just going to clean up over here. Changes to flex direction column. Give it like that. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and create the modal button. Now what a lot of times people don't do is they forget to give it the cursor pointer. So make sure that you do give your button. If you aren't using the a tag, a cursor that when you hover, it looks like a link. All right, so now we just have some basic text and the basic modal that we just want to do. Now clicking this, nothing happens. So next step is we want to go ahead and create the modal, an empty modal that does nothing, just the front end of the modal. So we'll go in here. I'm going to open up my modal component and the modal module. And we're right now we're just creating the end state. Okay, so we already went and had created a default module, uh, you know, modal.module.scss. Now I do have SAS installed, so you could just, if you don't have SAS, just npm, you know, i SAS. And what we're gonna do is just go ahead and I'm gonna create an empty, you know, simple modal here. Give it a class name, styles.container. But now we're going to go ahead and add the CSS to make this look like a modal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have two things. I have a container and you can do the modal your own way. Um, this is just my way. I'm going to have a container and then modal content inside of it. Inside of it will have the content. Right. So what we want to do now is also add the dot modal content. So I'm actually going to go ahead and create the modal that's going to be inside of this, you know, modal container. background color. Um, now the next thing that we want to do is we want to have the close button that is going to close the modal. because the size that I want is different than its actual own size. So we want to say background image, no repeat. So now we have a nice little X here, position absolute. Again, you can't see it. You can see it here, but again, just you definitely want to add the cursor pointer. So let's go ahead and add cursor pointer to make it feel like a link. And here we go. We have the modal that basically does nothing. If you refresh here, we have the content behind it. And the next step is that we want to do set this to be invisible by default. So the first state, we want the visibility 
of this to be hidden. And we want the opacity to also be zero. Okay, and now what we wanna do is we are going to be creating the class that is when it's there based on state, it's going to show the modal. So what we're going to do is and dot again, this is CSS, this is SAS. So what it will be is it's basically like saying container dot modal uh, container dot active, but I'm doing it in SAS. So it's active. And then what we want to do is change the visibility to visible. Then change the opacity to one. So this active class is not there, but if I were to add it here, you would see it. So now here's where we're gonna to wanna to be toggling another class. So we wanna be able to allow multiple classes. In order to do that, we have to change this to allow multiple classes. So we need to use the object curly braces and do a back tick, then give this its own, you know, put it in <clears throat> its own curly braces. Now we need to start working on the function. So now let's go into the function and let's go back into the open modal. And this is the interesting tricky part is that we need to, we're gonna go into the main page. That's a lot of times where a lot of things live is in parent components. So in the parent component is where we wanna create the function on click because that's where this button exists. So in React, a lot of this has to be state. So we need to create state true um, when this button is clicked. So let's first thing here, let's import use state. So all we're doing is importing use state from React. And now what we want to do is create a, um, a const, you know, just a modal state false. That variable is what we want to pass into the modal to send it its state. So what we can do is just toggle modal state. So we're passing that state as a prop to the modal. Whoops. Now on click we of this open modal, we want to go ahead and make sure that it changes the state. So we want to have a function called open modal, name it whatever you want. And now we're going to say set modal state to not true, but the opposite of the current modal state. Okay, so every time this function runs, it's going to be changing the value to the opposite. So if it's false, it's gonna be true. If it's true, it's gonna be false, which is essentially like toggling. Go ahead and make sure that on click, this state changes. So we're gonna say on click, we're on the button now. We're gonna say on click, open modal. And now I'm actually going to um, show this state just so we can see what's happening. And you could do that by doing the state with two with the method to string. So you see it says false. Now when you click open modal, it's true. And it keeps to go back into our modal and take that as a prop. So we're going to say props, open up your modal again. And we want to pull the prop and give it a const. So we're going to say const modal state equals props dot toggle, which is the prop that I named named it. And now here's where the fun begins. What we want to do is based on that modal state, we want to go ahead and add the active class to the container. So in order to do that, we'll use this ternary, um, you know, conditional if statement inside of the class um, area. So we're going to say modal state. Basically, if the modal state is true, then go ahead and add the styles dot active or if not, then just don't do anything. So basically if the modal state, oh, there it is. So I just hit save because it already was now refresh because it should be false. And I click here and now the modal turns, you know, pops up. Now, as you can see here, I can't close it. So what I need to do is be able to close this because I won't be able to access this button when this is on top of it. And that's where the other fun begins. Now what we want to do actually is go back to the parent page and now we want to pass the function as a prop into the modal so that it's accessible for the close button. So now we're going to say, I'm going to call this prop action and then we'll call it open modal. Now make sure you don't have open modal parentheses. Otherwise it'll keep executing itself. What we want to just pass the function. We don't want it to execute. Um, so now we're good. No issue. So we're sending that function open modal to the component. Now, if we go into the component, we want to pull that. So we're going to say const action 
equals props. I'm just giving this its own, you know, you could keep, I like to give the props their own variable names always. So we call it action. And now what we want to do here is on the close, we want to give this a click on click. We want to say, do the action, which is the function right there. And I believe this should be it. So if you click open modal close, there we go. So now we have the modal open close and that's all we're absolutely fine you don't need to do anything else fancy to this because the modal sometimes could just pop up i want to add some animation so what i'll do is first of all i want the opacity to be um animating so i'll give this a transition and i'll say opacity 0.5 s and then i want the visibility also to be animating visibility 0.5 s so now this should work we see Nice. So we see the modal fading in, fading out, fading in, fading out. You could change the speed if you want. Another thing that I want to scale, I want it to be a little nice. So what I will do here is add um, transform scale on default. I'll make it 0 0.8. So it's a little small. And then when it's active, I'll make it transform to scale one, right? I want it to go back to its own, uh, you know, large state and now let me transition um, that transform add it to the transition 0.5 s and let's save here and we have there we go we have a nice little model they could play with the speeds you know I'm not sure of the speed I want to make it a little night maybe quicker so let's say 0.3 and let's see it's a little now it's a little speedier kind of nicer nice size and guys that's pretty much it that's how you open up a modal and that's how you close a modal inside of a modal component in passing props passing functions into a separate component i hope you guys have enjoyed this if you guys like react tutorials next.js front-end development full stack development hit that like button subscribe to this channel see you guys in the next one